I'm Fern Cotton, and I've been granted exclusive access to Britain's biggest supergroup, McBusted. Between them, Busted and McFly have sold over 15 million records. Now the two bands have combined and are unstoppable. Yeah. Yes. As they prepare to play over 40 massive gigs, oh, <laughs> I'm hanging out with each of the band in turn. Was that as good for you as it was good for me? Now in the second instalment of my intimate journey, His little face. James tells me how badly he took the busted split. There was never a last gig. One day it was over. Harry explains why he had to clean up his act. Something happened that definitely changed me. It affected me in a way that was frightening. And Tom opens up about his personal battles. Three years ago, I really realised that I was struggling. I must have been so hard to deal with. And then I join them exclusively backstage at one of their biggest shows. Who's ready for the busters? This is Busted and McFly as you've never seen them before. Busted tour sold out months ago, but you'd be amazed just how much the McFly and Busted Boys have been through to get to this defining point of their career. Matthew! In the first part, I spent quality time with Matt, Dougie and Danny. And they were all surprisingly frank about how success came with a hefty price. And if I wanted to drink at 10 o'clock at a photo shoot, yeah. I bloody would. I went on autopilot, I think. I think we all did, cos uh, we were just there for him. Oh, man. God. Um, it, got, it got really dark. I'm going to be hanging out with Tom, Harry and James, but first, I've got a rather gruesome appointment with two of the other band members. Let me explain. Let's do this. Oh. Ah! Last time, I got roped into playing a game with the lads called Tattoo Roulette. Come on! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Where the loser is forced to have a tattoo they don't want. Danny and Matt lost the first stage of the game. Right, now, what are, now what are they getting? And we all decided the tattoo would be of a frog in honour of James. So we nicknamed frog. James Frogs, and he yeah. hates it. Right, all those in favour of the frog, say aye. 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 Double aye. And today I'm joining the unlucky pair as they go head to head. The game, paper, scissors, stone. Best of three and you show on the fourth, so one, two, three, show, whatever yeah. you're going to... The loser goes home with the unwanted body art. I've got this over with, to be honest. Right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my okay. God, oh, my God! Come on. OK, OK, ready? Come on. Yeah, ready? yeah, 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 yeah. OK, yeah. I feel lucky, I feel good. I OK, feel good ready, myself. ready, ready? Right, OK. One, two, three. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Breathe it out, breathe it out. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh. Oh! What? <laughs> what? Oh my god, man. I gotta think, I gotta think. So does this one decide it? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, this one decides it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. No okay. way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is awful. <laughs> right. One, two, three. <laughs> Boom! I'm so happy. Where are you going to put the tail? Oh, God. Hmm. There is, like, one week a year where I wear shorts. <laughs> so I might get it done here. <laughs> oh, there's that noise. Oh, shit, the bear. <sighs> are you sure you want it there? Not the time, Danny. Not the time. You all right, Matt? Yeah. Hey, things you're doing, bands, eh? Yeah? Just a non-stop party, isn't it? <laughs> the fact I'm going through fucking pain for this tattoo <laughs> is what's worse. I'm like, this sucks a little bit. 
He's coming alive. He's really got his own character going there. He's going to be called James. James. Should we call James? <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hi, James. Hi, Fern and Danny. How are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? Matt lost tattoo roulette. Should we have a little look? <laughs> oh, that's so good. It's touching, right? Very, I'm, I'm flattered. <laughs> Bye. Say goodbye to James, James. Oh, 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 oh. Hung up. Hung up. Oh. Is it done? We're done. Oh, I, I actually Thank really you very like much. It. It's done really I well. think I it's think really it's nice. Very cute. Thank you. All right, come on, pop along. I should probably put this my way. shoe on. Which way? This way. This way. Yeah. <laughs> He's hopping like a frog. <laughs> <laughs>With the McBusted tour just around the corner, I'm off to hang out with Tom, who doesn't just have a new band to focus on, he's also the proud father of a six-week-old baby boy called Buzz. Hello! Hello. How are you? Oh, you all right? Tom Fletcher. Not only has he written some of McFly's biggest hits... He's also pen tracks for One Direction and songs like Crash the Wedding with James for Busted. He married his childhood sweetheart, Giovanna, in 2012. Thanks to my mum. Thanks to my dad. And his unusual groom speech sung to a medley of his biggest hits has been watched by 13 million people on YouTube. Thanks to my best men. Thirteen million and one, if you count Russell Crowe. This guy Tom McFly, right? Yeah. His wedding speech in in song. You know, I sat and I watched that, and I. This is what came to my mind, right? This man has such a rich internal life. I just think he's incredibly special. It's all about. Delicious little baby of yours. Is he really good? Do you want to see a picture of him? Yes, I do. He's out at the moment. He's a really cute one. I love this one. Oh! <laughs> his little face. I love his expression. Look at his little arms. Have a little naked time. Oh, <laughs> I love being naked. How wonderful. <laughs> naked baby. Except that's when he tends to pee on me. Yeah. Oh, Buzz, I love him. Yeah, he's really He's gorgeous. Sweet. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Yes. He's yeah. so lovely. Yeah. Can have a little tour around the house? You can. Yeah? Absolutely, Have a little yeah. nose. Oh, this is beautiful in here. Thank you very much. How lovely. Yeah. Oh, it's so sweet. Yeah. Pictures of you and your beautiful wife. Yeah. And a terrible one from a long time ago. <gasps> when you are babies. We were on a school trip. I love that you guys met when you were that young. I think that's so romantic and lovely. We were 13 when we first met. And, yeah, we saw this girl come, come in and, uh, to assembly. Me and my mates were like, oh, she's well fit. <laughs> and then she, like, she walked up and she sat down next to me. And uh, she was like, oh, hi, I'm Giovanna, you can call me G. I was like, oh, hi, I'm Tom, you can call me T. What a like, smoothie. Terrible, what a line. Terrible child. What a line. Line. <laughs> worked, though. It married really well her. worked. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You got the girl. Yeah. Come see the nursery. Come on in. That's his room. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah. Do you feel like, for you as a family, this is such an amazing time? You're probably just living the dream now, this is yeah, it. Yeah, it is, but I think it's that thing, like, you know you should really be taking it in, but it's you hard, just, yeah. when you're in it, you can't... Mm. But it kind of reminds me of, like, when we first started as a band, you know, we had all this stuff going on, we were going on tour with Busted, and, you know, our first single, you know, having number <laughs> ones, and it's only now, mm. looking back, I realise how special that time was. And you, people might not know this, but you were in Busted for, like, two days? Yeah, I, I got in. I was at the same audition as Charlie. So 
So I was sat in the room with him, and uh, Matt and James were already in the band. And I, I went to school with Max. He was like the rebel. He was a bit rebellious <laughs> at school, and I was totally not that. You know, I'm not rebellious <laughs> at all. So I think I just annoyed him a bit. So when I got to the audition, I saw Matt. I was like, oh, hi, mate, you're auditioning. He was like, no, I'm in the band. I was oh, like, oh, God. I was like, right, I might as well go home. I'm not getting this. And then they told me that I was in, and me and Charlie went down to the studio, and we heard, like, what I go to school for in Year 3000. And, and then we went to Burger King afterwards, and we're like, right, this is it, we're a band, this is the band. And we're like, wow, and, like, swapped phone numbers with each other and be like, wow, it's my bandmates, it's yeah. really cool. And I said goodbye to Charlie on the tube. And we're like, oh, I'll see you around, bandmate. Yeah. And then all my family around our house, and, you know, told everyone that I was in this band. Oh, and the phone rang, and Mum's like, oh, it's your manager. I was, it's like, yeah, so we decided we're just going to keep it as the three of them. You know, I'm really sorry. We really oh. like your songwriting, but, you know, you're not going to be in the band now. And I was like, That must uh, have been the most horrific Yeah, moment. it was like, just from being on top of the world to then having nothing, and then just went back to college, went to Stanmore College oh, the next day. Tom. I remember crying some nights, just thinking, like, I really want to do it, but I never felt, like, jealousy. I always felt really happy that I was semi part of that yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. And I like, never yeah. really spoke to Matt about it and like Have found out. No, and like at the why wedding not? in uh, the boys in their best man speech asked Matt why I wasn't in Busted. It's like, yes. uh, it was a management decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the music room. Coming up, my chat with Tom takes an intimate turn. You don't even want to get out of bed, you're miserable, like nothing, you know, it's just awful. <laughs> Fitness freak Harry tries to kill me. Oh, come on, fan. Piss off! That guy is an idiot. And I wangle exclusive backstage access to the McBusted tour. <laughs> As they gear up for their feverishly anticipated UK tour, I'm getting to know the lads from Supergroup McBusted. <laughs> It's beautiful in here. Spending time with Tom. Little Moses yeah, basket. The tour. It really does feel like he's got it all. The rock star pad, the loving family unit. It's gorgeous. But away from the limelight, things haven't always been so perfect. So when I've been chatting to the rest of the band, obviously over the years you guys have all seemingly had some tougher times. Mm -hmm. But no one's maybe as aware of the tough times you've been through. When we started we were all like 17, 18 and you know that from that period of your life when you go from being a teenager to a grown-up, a real yeah. person, you know, you're like, that's when you do the most changing in your life. But it is, you know, it is hard at times, and you, know, you do have, um, you do have, you know, real ups and downs. What were the real kind of pitfalls and, and hurdles for you growing up in a band? About three years ago, I, I really realised that I was struggling more than, other, you know, other people around me were. You don't even want to get out of bed, you're miserable, like, nothing, you know, it's just awful. Giovanna calls it on when I've been on my period. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been a bit of a nightmare. I just think, like, I must, I must have been so hard to deal with for the boys. The thing that really made me go and get help was hearing about bipolar. And, uh, you know, because I could recognise cycles in... My, our life as a, as a band goes in cycles. You go from writing, recording, promoting touring right you know it just goes round and round and round and i could recognize my ups and downs went in sync with my you know our, our life as a band yeah and that's why bipolar when i heard about bipolar that it really kind of um struck a chord with me and it was something i could just it, it just felt like that that is exactly my life that is exactly what i go through uh, and the medication I'm on, I'm on is one that is to treat bipolar, and it just it, it instantly within the first few weeks, like it was really funny talking to the guys. I think it was Harry it was like, it was like, oh, you've like you've got your laugh back, and I was like, what do you mean? It was like you haven't laughed like that in like four years. Wow. And I was like, oh, it's really interesting that you said that. Wow. wow. It does seem like you are the strongest you've ever been. As yeah, a band. totally. I, that's what I think. And that, individually as well, though. Definitely. Like this is by far the most. Uh, you know, like settled and content that I've ever felt, ever. I'm so and happy for you. Yeah, so we, I think all of us feel, you know, uh, uh, feel that way as well. It's so lovely. The music room. The music room. This this room funds the rest of the house, but it's the smallest, <laughs> <laughs> most unorganised room. <laughs> Want to see my lyric books? Yes, I do. 
Going way back by the look of it. Way, way a lot back. of them. If there was ever a fire, I'd be straight up here to get these after saving after Buzz, Buzz and uh, sure. after Buzz the and, and Giovanna and the, wife. And the cats. Yeah. yeah. Any songs uh, that, that didn't make the cut? That was the first song me and James ever wrote called Chills in the Evening. What songs didn't make the cut and you're so happy they didn't? Hotchicks.com, I think. Was yes, Hotchicks.com. That, that didn't make Amazing. that didn't make the the cut. Chickened out. That, Chickened that out. That never made it. No, that didn't, didn't Pancake like Tuesday. Though. So we wrote Crash the Wedding on Pancake Tuesday. And we, we were like, we should write a song called Pancake Tuesday. That and didn't happen. That's as far as we got. <laughs> <laughs> we did write Crash the Wedding that night. It's five colours. Oh, God. Uh, this is like Air Hostess. There's a really oh, good like wow. little section. So we're doing like Busted Song, McFly Song, Busted Song. Like That's crazy. It's we'll so see. cool. Well, thank you so much for letting me hang out with you today. That's all right. It's been all right. really Thanks lovely. Really lovely. You know, I live now. You can come over whenever you want. Exactly. I'll come around for tea. Yeah. I'll cuddle with your gorgeous baby boy. Absolutely. The next member of McBuston on my hit list is Harry. Hello. Oh, oh, it's open. There's no one there. This is very pretty. Look at this. Oh. Hello. Hello. Good doing? to see you. Drummer Harry Judd is McFly's mischief maker in chief, but he's mellowed a lot since the band's early days. He's quit drinking, started exercising, and in 2011, waltzed home winner of Strictly. <laughs> Harry met his wife Izzy when her group of Scala supported McFly on tour back in 2005. Oh, and the other thing you should know. He's developed a bit of an obsession. I'd like things to be tidy, but not on the scale that Harry does. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to slightly adjust. It's, it's bordering on ridiculous. Like. What's your one thing that you just have to have right? Because I'm quite specific. Mine is kitchen surfaces. If there's a speck of dirt, I'm having panic attacks. Mine's pretty much <laughs> the entire, like, that feeling for the, for the entire house. <laughs> really? Literally. Totally. I probably clean the kitchen maybe four times a day. Wow. Like, I can't relax unless I'm... Unless it's it's really it's quite annoying. I know it was this severe. I'm pretty chilled <laughs> when the house I'm is here tiny. to get the real Harry out. Um, let's have a little look around your house. Yeah, yeah. Well, come show on. us around. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> this is it, really. <laughs> there you go. It's so gorgeous. Well, it's, yeah, it's cool. It's kind of just like one big space. Is right. there anything that's currently annoying you in this room? Well, there's this little situation going on over here. Right. Well, let's talk about this. Well, this is like Izzy's making like a wedding scrapbook thing. Right. The existence of this box is setting you off a bit. I mean, I can live with it. I can live with that. Right. Like, it's not ideal, but I can live with it, you know. Yeah, Your I mean, wedding pictures as well. Oh, I know. So beautiful. Oh. That's a nice one. Would you say this is the best frame of mind all of you have ever been in in the band? Definitely. Like, the contrast to where we're at now compared to the early days is just... It's just completely insane. Mm. <laughs> we're all really, like, health conscious yeah. and, like into fitness like i would hate i would hate me like the 19 year old <laughs> harry would hate the 28 year old harry he'd be like you're a you're a dick mate and the new harry is all about the fitness Hello. Right, Burn, nice and he's dragging me along to a workout with his personal trainer next one over there i hate that guy i hate him already i hate him Come on, Fern. Ah, bloody hell. <laughs> it's worse than childbirth. Ah. And down for your heel. Just really sit down. Fern's love it. I can't! You're doing it. <laughs> Come on, Fern. Piss off. That guy is an idiot. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> Don't drop me. Shane, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, flowers. Ooh. I can't believe Harry puts himself through training like this five times a week. I need breakfast. So how different would you say your lifestyle is now to in your more bad. extreme debauch days of being in McFly? Um, well, I don't drink, I, don't, I quit smoking. Because I would say people looking at McFly, especially back in the day, wouldn't have thought you guys were necessarily messy or debauched or rock and roll, but you all had your moments. Yeah, for sure. Like, I would think I was, I think I was a bad influence on the others. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and what were your particular dark days in the band? 
something happened that definitely changed me a lot. It affected me in a way that was like very horrible, frightening. And so, I was like, well, never doing that again. So basically, without kind of going into it, you had problems and now you're yeah, super healthy. Yeah, it's not like I... You had a wake-up call. I, uh, yeah, exactly, and in a way that like, no one would like want that to happen happened to them so it was kind of like a blessing in disguise because it meant that I never like touched anything ever again you know in the past my my preparation for going on stage was to was to drink mm. sometimes I'd be like whoa a bit too drunk <laughs> but <laughs> but now like I mean, it's me and Dougie ordering you know herbal teas <laughs> you know it's me and Matt comparing workouts yeah what did you do today dude it's great yeah, it's brilliant it's, you know, it's, cool. it's a joy to see you all in such a great place yeah. it's amazing it's all it's good I'm happy you know oh this egg's gone a bit wrong you can have that one <laughs> I like goat's cheese you had but kale crisps Coming up, Are you in? Are you in? I quiz James about the busted split. I didn't want it to end. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I didn't sit around crying about it. Matt gives me a revealing glimpse into his new lifestyle. Am I weird? And I go backstage at the big tour. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Shitting hell. Busted's massive UK tour is now mere days away, so the time has come to hook up with the creative powerhouse behind the new band, James. The reaction to his impromptu performance at a McFly gig was so positive the idea of a supergroup was hatched. So I'm really looking forward to spending some time with him and we're off to his house on the beach in Cornwall. Hi. How are, How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. you look good. It's been a little while since I saw you. Hello. I know you. You're my friend. Oh, yes. How are yeah, you? Yeah, you remember me? <laughs> <laughs> We're only three days. Yeah, I do. We know each other. Oh. Wow. Really? Yeah, I remember, remember you. Yeah, of remember course. Remember. Of course. Oh. Bye. Good to see you. See you later. Love. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't know her, do you? I do. Oh, you do? <laughs> She's back, she's back. He knows me as a complete nutter, coolio. Yeah, I came round your house. You remember my house? Yeah, I mean, it, was really, it was really nice. Yeah, yeah. this is beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> what a lovely coincidence. What a lovely coincidence. Good to see, good to see, good to see you again. <laughs> right. See you later. I can't even believe that I saw you. I know, it's so random. Back okay, again for back. more. Bye. Great, good luck. <laughs> you can say goodbye to me, but I can't keep coming back. See you later. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? What is going on? I know. Who is she? I, I, um, it's a long story. Welcome to his world. Let's go! James Bourne, principal songwriter for Busted. It's the scene. It's the actual scene. It's, we're here already. <laughs> we literally are. I'm sure we can, like, all get in. Are you in? Are you in? When the band split, he carried on writing, penning tracks for McFly and others, including Pixie Lots and The Saturdays. Oh, look at that. That is stunning. After relocating to America, he divides his time between a New York apartment, London flat... Oh, sea air. ..and his home in the West Country. That feels so good! <laughs> Come in. Home sweet home, eh? Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at that. The best view ever. Beautiful. Yeah. We set a whole studio up in here with the whole band. That's and, so nice. Uh, yeah, so we did a week's songwriting and... Uh, so you're doing new songs as McBus did? We, we, we're experimenting. Like, we don't know exactly how it's going to be, but we thought, oh, no harm in seeing yeah. what happens. Come Perfect through. place to get inspired. Yeah, come through. Beautiful. Um, this foosball table is from the Busted house. Oh, nice. Oh! <laughs> the kitchen's in here. 
You could cook? No, I'm, I'm really bad. There's, like, another room here. Who's rolling the towels in this place? I want someone to do that in my house every day. <laughs> no, I love it. This is, like, upstairs. That's cute. And this, like, this was all renovated, though, because, like, this, this shower goes through, like, it's shared. It's oh, like, cool. You can come, yeah, like... You could meet you Dougie it. in the shower. Nice. Well, let's go through the come, shower. Come Why through. not? Yeah. Then... Every view is brilliant. Yeah. Every view is nice. So how often do you come down here, would you say? Recently, you can sit down if you want. <laughs> Thanks. Just next to your rolled towels. Yeah, yeah no, recently I've been coming here more. I probably don't spend as much time as I want to here because of I've been living in New York. Is it weird being back in the UK after being in the States for so long? Well, everything's weird because life is very s strange, you know, after you have a band like Busted and it ends. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a really weird fallout and everyone deals with it differently and I think for me, I wanted just a little bit of space. Yeah. People here, once you've been in a band that's been successful and then is finished, they look at you like your career's over. Yeah. And I think what was so cool about being there is people didn't see me that way. They saw me as someone who had a future. You could do whatever you liked. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, and so I, I kind of thrived off that. Is that not massively scary, though? Because especially having been in a really successful band and then you know, sort of departing that world and the UK for a while, yeah. to come back, like, this is what we plan to do. If it hadn't have gone well, would that, that would have felt horrendous for you guys. We all took a risk. Yeah. Uh, after the tickets went on sale, we all kind of went, OK, no going back now. Yeah, um, we, we went and had breakfast together, and we were all sitting around the table, and the phone rang, and it was our agent. And, you know, it was almost like we're in this together, like, you know, you really do dangle your balls, like, out there. Like, if, if this doesn't sell, not only are we screwed, yeah. <laughs> like, you're screwed too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we get the, the phone call 15 minutes after tickets go on sale and all the tickets have gone. At that point, it was like a celebration because, you know, it was, uh, it meant so much to all of us. I'll be there. Yeah, kind With of. a banner. Yeah, I'm so excited. I wouldn't miss it for the world. But one person who won't be involved in the tour is James's former bandmate, Charlie. He walked out on Busted after three years. I've uh, quit Busted, um, sadly. We're not going to retire because we're only 21. And nearly a decade later, he's decided not to be part of the supergroup. And I really want to find out why. I guess one thing I wanted to mention that we hadn't really touched on so far is the fact that there's the absence of Charlie. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, you know... I, it's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's really weird, isn't it? It's, it's like, I wish I could talk to him mm. about it. And, Can you not? Yeah, I could, but we never, like, it's never been bad between us. I think some people believe that it's bad, but it really isn't. It's just he, he does his own music and we do ours. It was while he was still part of Busted that Charlie formed another band, Fight Star. So did this add to the tension? Were there disagreements with Charlie, tough times with Charlie? The thing is, I never went to his Fight Star shows because I, I, never, I never really felt welcome. Because right. uh, he never really told me he was doing it. And, uh, and he never invited me personally to a gig. But I definitely understood his, uh, his desire to make music that he believed in and wanted to do. Because I, you know, that's what I want to do. When Busted ended, do you think you took it the worst? Was that a really bad moment for you? Like you did, you weren't ready for the band to end. Yeah, I didn't want it to end. Yeah. But I, you know, I didn't sit around crying about it. More of a shock, I guess, right? Because yeah. you weren't expecting it to happen. It was shocking to me because I, because well, I didn't know. I didn't know. Actually, I didn't know that the last show we played at Wembley. I didn't know that was our last show. Really? Yeah, so in my mind, there was never a last gig. One day it was over. So, that is, I did not know that. Yeah, I didn't know. So how did you find out? Um, so uh, I was snowboarding, and at one point, my dad pulled me aside, and he just said, uh, it's, it's, uh, there's not gonna be another album whole thing is over. What, so had someone told him, your management or something? I think everyone knew except for me. Right. So yeah, I was shocked, but you get on with it. 
<laughs> I'm just, I'm just happy to be here. Yo. <laughs> I had no idea Busted had fallen apart so unhappily for James. And I still think there might be a little more to it. One person who might know is his other Busted bandmate, Matt. After the band split in 2005, he married TV presenter Emma Willis, cleaned up his act and enjoyed a much quieter life. I'm popping round to meet him again at their London home. Well, how do you have it? Black? Yeah. How'd you, how'd you like your coffee? How'd you take it? Uh, well, it's different to different times of the day. See, morning, I have this thing called Bulletproof Coffee, which is coffee, butter and MCT oil. What? You put That's butter just... in your coffee? Yeah. Grass-fed butter, which is, um, which is good, healthy fats in the morning. Kind of gets right. you going. And that kind of keeps me full till lunchtime. Wow. Yeah. OK, so now... I'm intrigued to see... Right, OK, what are we doing here? So this is an AeroPress, apparently, which is um, the new kind of cool way to do coffee, apparently. Oh, right. oh, oh I need a mic. OK. <laughs> Trying Matt, to find... I've just noticed this um, chart that has legs, shoulders, knees and toes. This is my exercise programme. Wow! Yeah, this is, uh, this is... I cross off every day. Tomorrow's arms, Wednesday's legs. Would you say you're quite yeah. fanatical about it? Like, this is an everyday kind of obsession now? I'm a little bit more relaxed now. That There was a period of my life when I was a little bit obsessed by it. Like, mm. um, like in here. This, this is one day. Okay, so... You take all of that every day? Pretty much. But this is what I take in the morning. Oh, my God. So this, I just go straight on my tongue. And that just absorbs. So this is glutathione. This is um, kind of an antioxidant. Right. Am I weird? No, it's amazing. A little bit weird. It's kind of slightly excessive, so, but... Is it? <laughs> but you all have got into it now. Yes. You're all going to be so fit when you get on that tour that it's just, you're going to breeze it. It's going to be, <coughs> well, your yeah. energy's going to be amazing. Yeah. Who would you yeah. say is now coming out as the leader now these two bands have merged? To be honest, we've kind of been in an amazing position where we can just go awesome. We all agree. Like, yeah, like whenever something comes up, we're like, do you want to do that? We're like, yeah. In Busted, who is the leader? Definitely not me. I was, um, I've always been quite happy to just follow ship. It was either James or Charlie, but I think that's where they probably clashed, because right. Charlie wanted to lead the direction of the band, but James was the backbone of the direction of the mm -hmm. band. So um, that's probably where, you know, things probably went a bit wrong. And why, at the end, was Charlie so unhappy? Were there specific reasons, or he was just sort of done with it? Oh, no, I think, um, I think Charlie started to hate Busted and what Bus Busted stood for. Do you know what I mean? Like, so he kind of joined a band that already had all the singles written and everything was ready to go, and he kind of joined. We got signed like a week later or something ridiculous, you know. And like, he was suddenly in this band that were kind of the the whole premise of the band had already been formed. Mm. I think also he really wanted that appreciation from his peers, mm. which I think meant a lot to him. Like, yeah. I, I couldn't give a shit what people. Yeah. I, as long as I was having a good time, I was cool, you know. But um, he didn't really have that much of a of a control on where the band was going, mm. you know, and I think eventually that just that just ate him up, you know. Yeah. He was um, he was he was just not not into it. So when you are standing backstage about to go on your first show for the tour, how will you be feeling? I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm I'm pretty positive that I'll be nervous, mm. but I think a lot of the others will as well. Did you used to in Busted? You used to get stage fright then. Yeah, but I used just to get wasted, mm. and then it was all right. <laughs> Yeah. So it's all fine. Yeah, yeah, he's wasted, get messed up and then go on stage, you know. But um, but I can't do that anymore. So I'm not, I'm not really quite sure what I'm going to do. Meditating or yoga or That's something. That's what I'd love to do. Yeah. Yeah, maybe meditation. Maybe I should start that. Yeah. yeah, just have your own moment before you go out there in front of all those people and do your thing. How are you? Coming up, <laughs> I sneak onto the McBusted tour bus. <laughs> Is that as good for you as it was good for me? Get fully immersed in their pre-gig rituals. I got some and the boys take to the stage. <laughs> when tickets for the McBusted tour sold out within minutes, no one really knew how the McFly and Busted Boys would gel as one unit. With their tour up and running, they 
promised me exclusive backstage access to one of their biggest shows. It's been a few days since I last caught up with the boys, so I'm keen to find out how Britain's newest supergroup are handling life on the road. How many tour buses do you need for one band? I hope they're not asleep, because that's really not fun. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Dougie. Hello. How are you? I'm very good. How are you doing? This is oh. very nice. Do is this like what it? you specified? You wanted red leather with lights on the ceiling? Yeah, the hornier the better. <laughs> you want to see the toilet? Yeah, let's have a look at the loo. Yes. You, is there a rule where you're not allowed to do number two on a tour you bus? You can't that... poop on a tour bus. Right. This is where we These sleep. These are tiny. Yeah. I don't know who that is. I wouldn't get in I that one. I just want to try it for size. Just why? Is there anything well, there incriminating in here? They don't. They don't. God Almighty! How do you fit in here? This is insane. You have the best sleep in there. It's like a coffin. Go, 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 go. go now's your chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! That was incredible. <laughs> was that as good for you as it was good for me? Where am I? Hi guys! Hi, God, it's hot and sweaty in here. Thank you so much. How are you all? Good. How are you? Great. This is your home at the moment. This is it. How has that been? Well, me. I mean, I guess like we're used to being with each other on a tour bus. How, I mean, how have we? We've been well, around? no, we're used to each other's gas. Yeah. Yeah. But how right. are you finding it? How are you finding it? Mm. They are very smelly. Mm. These bunch of boys. Right. I'm not gonna lie. These like, guys don't um, laugh at fart jokes anymore. Okay. <laughs> we've discovered that. There, there was, there was a kind of like a humouring point where we we're like, ah, yeah, farted in my close proximity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, really, that's really funny. Yeah, that's really again. funny. What has changed since you were touring back in the day to now, especially for you, James and Matt? I've been out loads on this tour, which I thought we wouldn't do. I thought yeah. I would kind of finish the oh, gig. You've been partying a bit then. Yeah, we've been partying yeah, we've been yeah, up to other nice. venues and stuff. Like me and Dougie have started smoking cigars. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're pretty badass. Like. <laughs> <laughs> we're so badass. So, how have the shows been going? Have they been nerve wracking, exciting, fun, Amazing. drilling fueled? First night was insane, right? Oh, Three songs in, I've never had such insane dry mouth. Like, <laughs> <about Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, personally, I, I think it's it's the most fun I've ever had. On really, stage. Yeah. that's Definitely. brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. And is it amazing to see all of your dreams turn to reality? Because you've obviously sat down at some point and said, "We want this to be on stage." Whatever, and it's it's there. You've yeah, seen and like, it. Normally on a tour, we'll be we'll have like loads of ideas and. You know, we'll be able to do like one of them, but because this tour, you know, is so big, we literally had a wish list of stuff we wanted to do. And when we sat down with the first meeting, it was like, right, we'll just do all of them on yeah. this tour. And then when I we got to the first show, it was like, it's all, it was all as good as we'd hoped. What awesome. happens now? Uh, next is sound check in about two minutes. Is it okay if we go and have a little look at the stage as well? Let's do that, man. Let's do that, Doug. Let's do it. Out front. When you're as big as McBusted are right now, if you ask, you usually get. Yeah, oh my god, that's mad! So I want to see the full scale of the ridiculousness they've got in store for their fans. <laughs> Scary trapdoor. Check. I'm really scared. When do I jump? When's the jump bit? Yeah. When do I get jump? To what do you mean? When? Will I get here? We'll go, we'll go Three. Two, one, go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yes! Flying drum kit. Oh, Check. this is magnificent! King of the Seven Kingdoms! Check. A gun that fires t shirts. Shitty hell! Check. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, that was fun! Oh! oh. Sorry, Hans. With the final sound check. And whatever this is, things are almost ready for tonight's show. And it's not just the sound desk that needs some final tweaks. Hello there, Tom. Hi, Fern. <laughs> <laughs> that was more than I bargained for. I've got really bad underwear on, I've just realised. And that's your main. They main unintentionally line. match. I didn't really mean for that to happen. No. I've got knee issues at the moment. Right, okay. So talk me through what we're about to do here. Okay, it's called dry needling, so it's not acupuncture. It's the same needles, but it's right. like a Western version of acupuncture. Right. This is more just find the find tight the point and stick yeah. a needle in. Yeah, find where it hurts. Relax. Stick a needle in. <laughs> stick it in. Right, okay. Basically. Good luck, Tom. He's a bit sensitive around this <laughs> area. <laughs> <laughs> it's only around here. Oh, but... it ticklish. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
Harry said this is where I meant to make you laugh. It's, no, I mean, no don't. it's not so bad here, right. but there's ones like, what is it we do now here? It's one flexes. That, and if you talk or laugh or breathe, it hurts. It's pretty bad. How's it feeling? Oh, no. All right. Feels good. Yeah. I don't really feel it, is it? That's what's nice, is like once the initial prick of the needle, prick. <laughs> once that's done, you don't feel anything. Yeah. yeah. So we'll just tweak these two. And just sort of go in and out a little bit, take the, the muscle to twitch. Tom's face equals, that's nice. <sighs> um, uh, I feel such zen. Actually, larking around with that trapdoor has aggravated an old injury of mine. Oh, this is already good. <laughs> this knee? Le left knee. Left knee. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. Oh, God, I've got all nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that little twitch. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did it twitch? Yeah. such a strange sensation, isn't it? Something that I like about it, though. What do you feel? Yeah. It, it's not painful. It's just like um, small, achy... Like a dull ache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we want. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you very much indeed. Wonderful. <laughs> the, the full tour treatment for me to just watch side of stage. <laughs> <laughs> to get my glad rags on <laughs> as thousands of McBusted fans are in the building. What happens right. now before you go out there? We, we just do, we do the clap. What's the clap? It's what gets everyone on the same page. You want to spot yes. Do you want to join the clap? Yes. yes it right. has to sound like one clap. It can't sound like seven claps. It can't sound like a round of applause. It has to sound like... Mm. OK, okay. so we've okay. just got a clap. You watch James. You watch James, James. Okay. James. Go a bit wider, Frank. Bit sloppy. Really? Focus. Whoa! Oh, that was right, good. right. That, wasn't the best that, one, but it was that was good. Right, yeah. touch. touch. You gotta feel, uh, I don't know why I did this. I'm never Right, go for it. Do your thing. James and Matt will arrive on stage in a Back to the Future-inspired DeLorean car. Oh, hi. This is the point where. So I grab a last moment with the rest of the boys. You're right, you're right. I feel nervous for you. You ready, team? Good to go. I'm ready. Okay. They're ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Who's ready for the buses? <laughs> McBusted are most definitely ready. an amazing show. I love my time with the McBusted Boys.
with everything they've been through, it's amazing they've made it this far. They were so loud. And I'm really glad they have. Thank you so much for not only letting me be here to watch that, but for being part of this brilliant TV show that I have loved very much indeed. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having me. This is the end. This is it. This, this is, is it. it. This is it. Oh, oh, I'm the best thing. And whether they stay together as McBusted or go their separate ways, they're never going to forget this. I feel quite emotional. And neither am I.